Hey friends, welcome back to the homestead. Today we're gonna to be making a classic picnic table. Right there. This classic picnic table design has been around for a really long time. It's the kind with the integrated bench seats. The reason that this has been used for so long is because it works well. Uh, it's made out of dimensional lumber, which I've gone down to the hardware store and picked up six two by eights, six two by sixes, and then three two by fours. Ultimately, what we're gonna have is about an eight foot picnic table with bench seats integrated into it. We've been looking for just the right uh, outdoor furniture pieces and we just haven't found them. So I figured might as well build something that we can enjoy. And I always really like building tables because so much happens around a table where you eat, where you have projects, where you play games, uh, enjoy people, enjoy friends. And it's just fun to see all those memories that happen around a table. But before we get too deep into uh, all the details, we do need a few hand tools that'll make it, this a little bit easier. We've got our, our little circular saw and our table saw. I'm not sure if we'll need the table saw, but I brought it out here just in case. The miter saw will help to make uh, those angled cuts a little bit easier. It's not necesary, you can do that with the hand saw. This will make it uh, go faster. Got a tape measure and a speed square that'll help to mark things out. We've got a larger square to make sure that everything's lined up. We also have some clamps just to hold things together as we're putting it together. And then we've got our screw gun impact driver and drill so that we can drill out some holes. We've got a uh, half inch drill bit. So there's some hardware that goes into this. So I've got half inch by three and a half inch carriage bolts, nuts, and then just uh, exterior screws. Most everything will be held together with two and a half or three and a half inch exterior screws. All this, the lumber, the hardware, and everything cost me about $175 in total. So I think that this will be a pretty, pretty good value and being able to put something together with that and even possibly my, my great grandkids will be able to sit around and have a nice picnic or dinner outside and think, great grandpa put this table together. It's pretty cool. That should be all the cuts that we've got. So we've got our four bench seats over here. We cut those down to 92 inches. We've got six of these little cross supports for those benches. We've got four of the cross supports for the tabletop. We've got four legs cut on 30 degree angles at 28 inches, 28 and a half inches tall. Actually, it seems a little short, so I'm concerned about that. Then we've got our two lower supports. Uh, now, these guys, um, I ended up not paying attention. I was cutting the top supports, and I had measured out to where we would have a top support and a lower support cut out of one, uh, one uh, two by six by eight. Uh, but then I went and cut two of them out of there i didn't have enough so i just ripped down this long uh two by eight to act as that other sport so we got a little bit of scrap but that's okay and then we've got our eight footers uh two by eight by eight for the tabletop now let's figure out if we can start putting all this together we'll put all of our tabletops face down and then attach them all with our cross supports. It's so one thing that I want to do before I attach these cross supports. I want to cut 
a bevel on the end of it. So now this is where we get our two and a half inch screws. We'll just screw this first one into place. We want about a quarter of an inch gap in between each board. Now the cool thing about square is it's got a built-in quarter inch spacer. Do that. Got our two supports. We'll put two more in the middle, but first I want to cut this edge off. So if we have 69 inches minus three and a half times two is seven, 62 inches divided by three. What's 62 divided by three? That's going to be 20.66. So let's go on this inside edge, 20 and 5 eighths, and do the same thing from this one, 20 and 5 eighths. Gorgeous. One more. All right, I think I've got the uh, leg thing figured out. So we're gonna use these as the upper supports and then we'll attach the legs setting on top of the cross support. That way we'll get a little bit more height. Um, so the table will sit right at uh, 28 inches up off the ground. It's actually still kind of low. I thought that most tables sat around 30 inches. That's what you get when you're just following instructions off of the internet. All right. got these legs just uh, temporarily attached. We're gonna drill some holes here and here for carriage bolts. It's gonna tie it in tightly to this cross piece. We've got this cross piece attached to this support with nice three and a half inch long screws going in through the back all the way across. And these are attached to that. And the way that I lined them up, I lined it up so that that corner met exactly with that corner so we can duplicate that on all four sides. Let's drill some holes for some carriage bolts here. The way that a carriage bolt works, it doesn't have a, uh, a hex or you know bit end at this end, but it does have a square head 
or our shoulder. And so what we'll do is we'll just knock that shoulder into the wood. It'll hold it tight and we'll be able to tighten a bolt and a uh, washer down around this end. So each one of these will get a flat washer and a nut. And then we'll just use our three quarter inch ratchet to tighten these guys down. I like that. I think that'll work well. Now we're just gonna turn it around. Do the same thing to the other side. All right, so now that we got all four legs attached with the carriage bolts, I cut these uh, just little scab boards. They're about 13 and a half inches. And so what that'll do is that'll hold the seat support up just like that. So we'll actually put it on this side. So I've got two of those. And so this will sit just like that. But what I want to do first is cut these edges to a slight bevel, probably about 60 degrees, so that way it doesn't catch anybody on that sharp edge. Beautiful. All right, so we've got all of the legs and the bench supports and the leg supports on. I think that this is going to, uh, to work out quite well, but it is getting a little bit later than I expected. And I promised the kids I would have, uh, have some dinner plans with them. So we will uh, we'll hold off on putting the benches on and the um, angled supports until the morning. Well, good morning. It's the next day and I was out here a little bit earlier just put together the, the one bench seat and so I've got one more to do and then we're going to attach it to the table itself. So here on this bench seat, this is the, the top, but we've just got these little braces that hold it all together. Uh, I've got three of them, two screws on each side. And what I did is I just measured out the center point, lined it up with the center point on the table and then aligned these far edges so that they'll sit nicely over the top of, uh, of the bench seat support. So we got one more of these. I'll show you how I did it. All these little bench cleats to have a nice uh, 45 degree angle on there just to keep people from kind of catching this sharp edge, make it last a little bit longer. One of the easiest ways to, uh, to cut multiple things at the same distance or the same angle is just to put a little stop block in your, uh, in your miter saw. That way you can butt your edge right up against it, saw and cut. That way you don't have to worry about measuring each time or marking it yourself. And flip it around. First thing that we'll want to do is measure out the center point on these. These bench seats are cut down to 92 inches each, just a little bit shorter than uh, the outside edge of the table. So our center point should be 46 inches, so we'll mark it at 46. Usually I'll just put a little V. Yeah, even the way though. That one goes, move it. This is where this one goes. All right, and we'll just line up our other board. And what I've been doing is just getting a little uh, quarter inch scrap of wood and just sliding it in between the two bench slats and then I'll use my clamp and clamp it together. 
Now one mistake I did make on the other board is try to keep your stamped edges off the top. That way you won't have to sand it quite as much to get those ugly markings off. We've got this angle support and what I did is measured it to fit into the corner here and then attach to this leg to keep it from pushing in I like it. Gorgeous darling, gorgeous. Okay, so we got that angled support, that'll give it a lot more rigidity. Now we need to flip it over and attach the benches. For that I need some help. This way. Right. Awesome. So now we just need to figure out what a comfortable and appropriate distance those bench seats need to be. There we go. Two inches, twenty one and three quarters, twenty two, twenty two. I think I like that. It's comfortable, it's easy to get into. It actually feels a little bit low, but not terrible. Not terrible. And to attach it, we will go with our three inch screws. Just going through the side here into that support cleat. Beautiful. Measure this out. 22. Boom. I like it. I like it a lot. Hi. It looks so good. It's a picnic table. All right. Does it work? Kind of short. Works good. Right there. Beautiful. All right, friends. Well, there's our picnic table for the back patio. Uh, eight foot solid, made out of a dimensional lumber. It's a fairly quick, uh, quick build, given that I've never done it before, and I didn't really have clear instructions. Uh, but I think it turned out really well. Uh, it might be sitting a little bit low. I might make the legs just about an inch or two longer next time. But, uh, but I like it, I like it a lot. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video informative or entertaining in any way, please hit the thumbs up, let us know that you liked it. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, please consider subscribing, see more of what we have going on on the homestead. Thanks so much for watching.
We'll see you on the next video. Wow, this thing is solid. Dance on it.